We're going to do yet another uh, roundtable talking about some of the vehicles we've been testing for the uh, 2014 Ward's 10 Best Interiors competition. Uh, Byron Pope and James Amon, of course, with us. And uh, this time we're going to talk about the Nissan Rogue that we drove, uh, and then also we'll talk a bit about the BMW X5. So, uh, Rogue, I haven't been in it yet, guys. Tell me about it. I drove it. Um, I've also went on the press trip, the launch for the Rogue, and they had told us that there was considerable effort put into upgrading the interior um, because they realized the segment, how much more competitive it was becoming. And, you know, I, I didn't dislike the interior. I thought it was comfortable. I thought the switch gear, everything was accessible, easy to use. But it's just black. Everything's black. Mm. There's no, like, attempt at all to break up these expanse of black everywhere. And, you any, know, any accent stitching at all? Uh, no. Um, <clears throat> you got a little bit of that sort of nickel, uh, aluminum very little. color trim, but very little. Way too much black in there. I mean, you, you jump in that in, in a covered parking deck like we have, and, and you, you can't even find your way. But, you know, some people might like that. I mean, and we don't know for sure if that's the only interior package they offered. I mean, it's very possible you could get different shades, right? But what they gave us to test this year, yeah, I mean... You know, it's. I guess it's. It's. It could hide stains real well, yeah. right? Well, and, and, and it's not. It's not a, the materials that they're using. The plastic. No, they're like using the they're nice raw, to the right? touch, and your elbows aren't hitting. You know, that 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 dark, hard plastic or anything. It just seemed a little bit on the dark side. Yes. Yeah, so so, nice so how about pricing, though? I thought it was a bit much. It starts at about twenty nine thousand. The way as tested, we it was a thirty two thousand dollar vehicle. I think at that price point, there's um, a lot, as far as interiors goes, there's a lot more out on the market that would, I think, please more consumers. Mm -hmm. I will say for them that the, you do with that, you get that huge Nissan panoramic roof that, that's just spectacular. Yeah, almost the roof is very vehicle. nice. And I think a lot of that might be baked into the price. It could. I mean, the extra money that we, you know, for, on our test vehicle was all safety stuff pretty much. So. Like I said, there might be an interior package or upgrade, but I'm thinking if there was one, they would have submitted that for uh, for testing this year. And they got to knock down that CVT and that four cylinder oh, yes. engine. Oh, really? there. That just that whines a little bit more than a baby T. So that's thing. not so good for the NVH rating, right? Now. The, uh, no. Interior. Well, uh, speaking of, of the uh, panel roof, I was in the BMW X5, which has also a really nice panel roof, and uh, and that vehicle is a little more expensive. That one stickers at eighty eight four seventy five. A little bit. Uh, yeah, but uh, really a nice. Really a nice package. Uh, seven passenger, you know, three row CUV. It's kind of awkward that they try to cram that third row into the X5, and I've always thought that about the X5, and I feel the same way about this all new version. Uh, it, it's really a back seat, just for two people, not for three, thankfully. But it's it's for kids only. Yes. And it's uh, <coughs> really most often those two back seats are going to be down flat, and you're going to have a big <coughs> cargo area. Uh, a couple of really nice features, you know, when you're in the driver's seat, it just feels like a BMW cockpit. I mean, everything is very familiar. Um, you know, you've got the orange tint on all of the buttons at nighttime and, and on the gauges. And then also something that's really nice is the ambient lighting. You guys got to see this at night. You've got these nice uh, LED light bars that run along the door, the, uh, the IP and along the door trim. And then they have other ambient lighting in the footwells and... Um, just some really, really effective uh, ambient lighting that makes a huge difference. The wood trim is like a, a I think it's maple wood, but it's a dark ash. It's, it's like a dark black kind of a uh, stain to it. And then some real nice uh, um, contrast stitching and all of the interior is basically beige. Uh, so, you know, if, if you're looking for contrast in terms of color uh, management in, in the X5, you're not going to see it. But it's a, it's, it's a very functional interior. <coughs> so. But the bring BMW interiors have gone largely unchanged, I've noticed, for the last three or four years. It's just, I mean, that's the question as far as this contest, I think, is, has it moved the needle at all?